Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a helicopter, which was another request. When worked using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 14.5cm by 12cm or 5.5 inches by 4 and 3 quarter inches. The medium helicopter crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10cm by 8cm or 4 inches by 3 inches. The small helicopter crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 8cm by 5.5cm or 3 inches by 2 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be slightly smaller than this one but I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 115 hot red, 201 electric blue, 393 charcoal, 173 bluebell and I'll be using a tiny bit of 106 snow white for around the windows but you could do around the windows with the bluebell if you'd prefer. I've got a 2.5 millimetre crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now I'm going to start right at the tip of the tail of the body. I've got my 115 the hot red and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put the hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. I put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle and that's my magic loop. For row one I work one chain and I work one single crochet into my circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put your hook in through the circle, bring back a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the two loops. Then we pull the circle tight. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet into our stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet into the stitch. So that's the tail part done. Now we're going to work 26 chain for along the top there. So 26 chain. And that's my 26 chain. For row 4 we work 2 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then we'll work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain.
and then we work one single crochet in the last stitch of the last row so we spin it round and work a single crochet in that stitch there for row 5 we start with one chain and turn our work and we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch we'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 28 stitches so one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with two chain and turn our work. We're going to work two half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. We need one more half double crochet into the first stitch and then we work one single crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. We'll leave the rest of the stitches. So one single crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. So we're starting on the cabin part. For row 7, we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. And hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches. 
So after our join single crochet, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bar weight, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 17 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. For bow 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 17 stitches. For bow 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bow 11, we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, and hook into the third stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. 
Then we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have three stitches left. We'll work a join single crochet over those last three stitches and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our join single crochet at the beginning, work one single crochet in each stitch till we have three left. and work a joined single crochet over those last three stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. One single crochet in each stitch till we have three left. We'll work a join single crochet over the last three stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So, so after our initial join single crochet, work one single crochet in each stitch till we have three stitches left. I've got three stitches left, I work a join single crochet over the last three stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the helicopter's body done except for the neatening row. Now we don't turn our work after our last row. We can start with one chain if you like and then we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch right around our work for the neatening row. I'm only going to work a slip stitch because I don't want it to get any thicker around the tail section. For a slip stitch you put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So we just work like that right around, just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge. and Try not to pull it too tight so that your work stays flat. So I'll continue working a slip stitch in each stitch around until I get near the end of the row and I'll be back. Now I've got one more stitch to slip stitch into and then I slip stitch into the chain at the beginning of the row and I fasten off. And that's the body of the helicopter done. Now I'll start on this small back window next. I've got my 173, the bluebell, 
and I start with four chain. For row one, I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one double crochet in the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then work a single crochet in the last stitch. That just gives it the shape at the end. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And that's the window done except for the neatening row. I'm going to fasten off because I'm going to use white cotton for my neatening row. But if you'd prefer, you could use blue. So I've got my 106, the snow white, and I join to any stitch. So I'm just going to join at the end there. And I work a slip stitch in each stitch around. And when I get back to the beginning of the row, I fasten off. And that's the small back window done. Now, for the front window, I've got my 173, the blue bell, and I start with a chain. Now to get the shaping right for this window, I'm going to be using a few stitches. So for row one, I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the following stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. And one treble in the following stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, 
yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops and then yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work one double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet in the following stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch For bow 2 we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches one double crochet in the following stitch then we're going to work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches we put the yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops we have two loops left we put the yarn around the hook hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops we have three loops on the hook then we put the yarn around the hook take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops for row three we start with three chain and turn our work we work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches the same as we worked at the end of the row one double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch And that's the window done except for the neatening row. Now we don't turn our work and we're going to continue with the bluebell for a little bit. We're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch just around this curve till we get just near the beginning of that first row. So using our bluebell, one slip stitch in each stitch just around that first curve Now um, at the last stitch of row one I'm going to join in my white. So I put my hook into the stitch, put a loop over my hook and just bring it through and straight through the loop on the hook. And then I'm going to use the white for the rest of the row. So one slip stitch in each stitch around to the beginning of the row.
and I'm back to the beginning of the row so I fasten off the white and the blue pearl and that's the front window done. Now I'm going to work these main rotor blades. I've got my 201, the electric blue and I make a magic loop. And I work 13 chain. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then I work one half double crochet in each of the next seven chain. and one single crochet in each remaining chain. And slip stitch in the circle and then we work 13 chain for the next blade. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in the next one. Then we work one half double crochet in each of the next seven chain. and one single crochet in each remaining chain. We slip stitch in the circle and then work one single crochet in the circle. That's just going to give it a little bit more space between the two side sides of the blades. And then we're going to start on the second side of the blades. We work 13 chain We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then one half double crochet in each of the next seven chain.
and one single crochet in each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the circle. Then we work 13 chain for our last blade. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet in each of the next seven chain. and one single crochet in each remaining chain. We slip stitch in the circle, then work one single crochet and pull the circle tight so we take hold of the tail and just ease it in as tight as we can and fasten off. And that's the main row to the blades done. Now I'll work this row to mask next. I've got my 393 the charcoal and I join in the fourth stitch along the top. So this stitch here and I work two chain. I'm going to work a joined half double crochet over the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through all those loops. Then I work one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. And I fasten off. And that's the bottom part done. For this top part we make a magic loop and work one chain. Into the circle we work one single crochet, one double crochet, that's a treble using UK terms. Two single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet. 
we pull the circle tight and join with the slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And then we work four chain. And we're going to join this to the middle of the voter mask. So we find the middle stitch and just work a slip stitch into there. And then we work one slip stitch in each of the chain. and slip stitch in the side of our circle and fasten off. And that's the rotor mask done. Now I'll work this tail rotor. I've got the 201, the electric blue, and I make a magic loop. And I work five chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. And then slip stitch in the circle. And that's the first blade. And then I work five chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the circle and I repeat that five chain I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain and slip stitch in the circle and I pull the circle tight and fasten off and that's the tail rotor done now for this little grey circle, I've got my 393, the charcoal, and I make a magic loop. I work one chain and work five single crochet in the circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and that's the little circle done. Now for the top of the skids I've got my 393, the charcoal, and for one, I join 
at the first stitch along the bottom. So this stitch here and I work three chain I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the two remaining chain and then slip stitch in the same stitch as the join and fasten off and when I weave in the ends I'll pull it so that it faces forward like that and for the back one I join in the last stitch along that bottom part and it's worked the same, I work three chain I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the two remaining chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as our join and fasten off and that's the top part of the skids done for the bottom part of the skids I've still got my 393 the charcoal and I work 18 chain I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then I work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches so I put my hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop I've got three loops on the hook I put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then I work one slip stitch in each remaining chain and I fasten off leaving a long tail I'm going to use that to stitch it to the top of the skids so I won't weave it in when I weave in all the other ends and that's all my pieces worked I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together now there's the pieces I've got the body the two windows, the tail rotor blade and the little circle to go on them and the main rotor blade and the skid. The first things I'll do is attach the back window to the body. The curved part goes at the back and I'm going to stitch it on using my charcoal cotton and I stitch just between where the white joins the light blue and I'll also attach the tail rotor blade just goes that way just in on the tail just around the middle 
The next things I'll do is attach the front window to the front of the body. Now, the where the white starts and finishes is where it attaches to the side. So like that, and I'll stitch with my grey around from where the white starts and finishes. And I'll also attach this small grey circle to the middle of the tail rotor blades in like that. The last things I do is attach these main rotor blades in behind that circle there. I centre it as best I can and I'll attach the skid to the skid tops with the thread I left. So the part that points up goes to the front and I just stitch it down with a few stitches on each side fairly evenly along there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished helicopter. And there's the finished helicopter. The size is 14 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres or 5.5 inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.